Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome to episode 95 of Europa Universalis 4. Wow, just as we start the game there, the Commonwealth now actually, uh, well, Brandenburg peace out with the Commonwealth. So let's have a look and see what's actually happened here because we're no longer at war. Um, wow, looks like a lot of stuff is being given away. The Commonwealth's literally just fallen apart here. Wow. Um, let's go and have a look over here. Look at the size of Austria. Austria are absolutely massive, and so are Brandenburg. So this is one of the reasons why we're not going to be taking over the entire HRE. So we're not currently at war. I do need to sort out all of my uh, ships, which is something that we are working on. Uh, Alliance offer from Ojibwe, which we don't want, because we're going to be taking those out, actually. They are these little guys up over here. We could vassalize them. Um, they are not allied with anybody. Let's just declare war on them and take them, basically. So we do that and we can leave it to our colonial nations to sort them out. We could also go and grab these places over here. What about these guys? Are you at war with anybody? You are allied with these guys. Nobody cares about that. Can't start another war just yet anyway. So... Um, I've sent some transport ships down here to pick these guys up because we don't really need to keep guys down here. Oh, well, the transport ships haven't arrived yet. I was going to say, I'm sure I had more men down there. You're working your way to Sierra Leone and that is fine. So we're also going to try and make sure that we've got our units roughly ready to go to war against Milan when the time comes. Got some units up here that can all group together. Now let's just have a look and see where I've got random units right one you can stay there that's fine in fact i think we're actually just going to get rid of you because you're the one unit that's kind of in a random position uh, the 11 stack is down there that's the 14 stack that's another 14 stack and this stack's going to be picked up right so we don't i'm just making sure we don't have lots of men sort of just scattered around all over the place as a result of uh, annexing a few of our vassals so we'll let as many of these guys get to Sierra Leone as possible before transporting them to the mainland. We won't get them all on because we only have 32 transports here. So we will be leaving uh, a few behind and coming back for them. Um, what we want to try and do as well is... Uh, let's go and drop you off at Poitou. I'm going to try and sort out as many of the ships as possible and put them into decent numbers. What have I got over here? Um, we've got some lights. Okay, got some heavies. 63 heavies. First of all, let's select this unit here. Let's break off three heavies and sell them. Just because I like... Well, I'm not going to sell them. I'm just going to trash them. Because I like having nice round numbers. So there's 60 heavies. We're not currently in a war that requires them. I can go ahead and put them in mothballs. That's fine. Then we have ourselves um, two lights and three, tran three transports. Let's break off the lights. You can join those lights over there. So, we will sort all these guys out. Now then, do we still want to go to war with Milan? What are the ramifications of doing that? We would bring Bohemia in. Um, Brandenburg wouldn't join the war with us because they'd be called into multiple wars. What's, what war is Brandenburg in currently then? Um, apparently Brandenburg aren't in war. Look at the common yeah the commonwealth has literally just collapsed. There's nothing left of it at all. So it's a good job that we didn't stay allied with them really. Um we should just let things carry on. Let's see if we can just do another um colonial grab over here. Can we grab any of this stuff? Can we grab this from you guys if we declare war on you? Yeah, we'll go ahead and um grab that so now we're in a couple of wars but our colonial nations can deal it's no it's no biggie for them and we get called into another war with brandenburg now this is actually a war against bavaria i'm going to accept do you know what i think i've pretty much given up on having any form i love this one little random province down here um austria's left them military coalition against us I, I think i've pretty much given up on having any sort of plan with what i'm going to do for this episode and i think it's more a case of well for this series and i think it's more a case of you know what i'm just going to roll with it whatever happens i'm, I'm just going to just going to go with the flow basically uh what we are going to try and do over here though 
uh, is we are going to try and do a little bit of sieging of Bavaria. And the reason for that is we do have some adjacent territory to it, so we may be able to grab some stuff from them. So let's consider moving some of our units this way. It looks like most of their units have just moved north towards Ulm. They may be going in to attempt to attack the Brandenburgian troops. In fact, it looks like they're coming over here. Um, Brandenburg will most likely jump in and save us there. Uh, let's start moving some more of these uh, units around. I don't think we're going to need all of them. And remember, most of these units are here because I was intending to go to war with Milan. Now, one of the things that's going to happen in the uh, new expansion, in the new uh, DLC, is that once, uh, if you tell a, a, a unit or a group of units to move into another province... Uh, once they're halfway there, their action becomes locked. So there's going to be no more of this thing where you get one day away from arriving and move into another province. will not be able to do it. So it's literally going to be a case of once, once you're halfway through a move, you're committed. That simple. Now what we can do over here, and I think what we should do, is we should just go straight ahead and start blanket sieging. Because we've got enough men to cover all of their provinces. I think they're the only people in the war. At least they were a second ago when I checked. So if we can blanket siege everything, then that stops them from being able to spawn new units. Um, what have we got here? Lose one stability or lose the money. We'll lose the money. Let's detach from there. Go up to here. And then we'll just chase down the last couple of units they have. So we've won that. Detach the siege and you... Did I detach a siege? Yeah. Oh, we can't actually move into Austria. That's fine. That's fine then. So is anybody else involved in this war? No, just those guys. So we should be good. Um, we can invest in a new technology. It's Diplotech. We might want to take some stuff, but we are behind the time, so we are going to go ahead and grab that. Uh, peace offer from these guys. I'm not even sure where they are. I know that they're involved in the war because they were a um, ally to these guys. Um, so where are you, actually? Show province. Go to diplomacy. You guys... Uh, where are I? Oh, you're, you're there, right. So what we can do with you guys is we can sue for peace and we can go for full annexation. Oh, no, you won't take it, though. Okay, well, we'll wait a little bit longer and then we'll, we'll see what we can take once we've got this province sieged out and that province. So those guys are doing well enough over there. A few rebels around. Yeah, just this little one stat that I can't do anything about because they are hiding. Um, we should have these guys arrived over here. Yep, they have. Let's take these transports and go back down and pick these guys up from Sierra Leone. Obviously, Portugal is going to have some black... I think we're still allied with Portugal, so they're not really black flag troops. Um, do we still have an alliance with them? We still have open borders or something. They're not black flagged. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I've got military access. So, uh, what else do we want to do? We want to sort out our navies a little bit, don't we? So, we've got some lights over here. Um, do we have any lights over here? No, you are all heavies and transports. So, let's go ahead and just delete these two lights. I know that seems a silly thing to do because I, I need more lights, but I'm, I'm trying to get these numbers right. So... You're not actually the Genoa fleet anymore. So we're just going to call you heavies. Like that. Um, so you're the heavies fleet. You have an admiral as well, which you don't really need. So we've got a couple of trade fleets that are a little bit weak. Um, let's send these 40 on to the Gulf of St. Lawrence. So you can protect trade on the Gulf of St. Lawrence. And then what we need to do then is grab ourselves another 100 ships and they're going to be the Genoa trade fleet. So let's start going ahead and we can get um, 30 lights. So let's start that off and keep the game uh, unpaused so things actually progress. I do have a real bad habit on this game. I'm well aware of just sort of pausing the game while I'm talking about what's going on on the screen. And... Um, I appreciate that that can be a little bit problematic because it's not make it's not getting us through the uh, 
through the years any faster. Right, we can actually uh, fully annex these guys now. So, full annexation. Uh, another couple of uh, things that they seem to have changed in the DLC as well is that you can actually uh, do full annexation without 100% war score in some instances, and you can also annex and grab money and humiliate and do all sorts of stuff like that. So, it, uh, it's going to be quite interesting. Right, these guys actually want to peace out. You, you won't actually accept um, full annexation yet, though, will you? No. How far are you behind? Minus 41. Mainly because of the length of war. and Demands exceed war score. Um, province has become self-sustaining. Fantastic. Let's go around here then. We'll keep attempting to box in the Dutch and stop them from, uh, from expanding anymore. Certainly doing well over here against Bavaria. I don't think they're going to last too long. Managed to convert some more heretics, so always happens bang on the autosave. Let's go ahead and convert somewhere else. Um, goods produced plus 100% in uh, one of our colonial nations. We're still at 100% war score with this one, so I just want I'm going to ignore those um, peace offer requests until they are. You can group back up. Yes, we are taking attrition. Who cares? Look how much manpower we have. It's hardly making a difference. And even though we're having to reinforce, we're not exactly losing money either. So things are all looking good. And then we'll consider going to war with Milan after that one. Um, in fact, if we were to declare on Milan now, Bohemia would come in, Holland, Ferrara, Wurzburg. Yeah, I think we'll wait until we've finished one war. Uh, Bohemia is not all that big. Bohemia is only a three-province three nation. Of course, they may well bring in the rest of the HRE. That is a possibility. Let's get all you guys to group up over here. That um, fleet should have arrived by now. So you guys can get on board. Who's this? The Seuss. And you guys can actually get up and dock in Normandy. And then we can mothball the uh, mothball the transport fleet. What do we like on force limit? We're a couple under. That's fine. We are fine with that. Uh, you guys can go and stand in Salzburg. Because that way you won't be taking any attrition. Got fleets arriving, got armies arriving, more fleets arriving. Uh, oh, we're at 100% war score with this one now. Let's go ahead and um, see what we can uh, see what we can get from them. Right, first of all, can we take this from these guys? Are they willing to give the whole thing up yet? Yes, they are. Full annexation for those guys. So let's send demand. They are fully annexed, and now we can go to these guys. And we can demand their full annexation as well. Fantastic. Look at that. We have even more of North America that we can start working against. We've, apart from these little bits over here that belong to the Shoshone and Holland. And a little bit that belongs to Castile. We've done pretty well over here in North America. Uh, tiny little island chain over here still owned by Great Britain. Um, the Bahamas. Part of the Bahamas. We'll be able to grab those... Um, We'll be able to grab those from them anyway, so yeah. We're definitely going to have to go to war against Great Britain again before this is over. A lot of allies involved in this war. I still don't think there's anybody else involved in it. Yeah, it's literally just those guys, and they are getting absolutely stomped into the ground. So that's a good thing. Shouldn't be too long before this war is uh, war is over. They've just got one little guy over here, and they can't do anything with him at all. I'm amazed by the time it's taking some of these uh, sieges to finish, but I suppose they do probably have some quite high um, high fort levels. Yeah, sort of fort level fives. Um, Commonwealth is once again getting absolutely destroyed. Um, yeah, how's it going, Commonwealth? Yeah, Kiev is just spreading like a plague at the moment. And it's not even the Commonwealth, it's Revolutionary Commonwealth. They they have had their day. Austria's rivaled us, which is hardly surprising. We've finished this siege over here. Um, we still can't go through, uh, through Austria. But let's get you guys around here. Some more fleets arriving. Now, speaking of fleets arriving, you guys have arrived. So you can go and form up in there and we'll sort you out. Now then... What do we have over here in terms of ships? And in fact, what do you got? Oh, you're, you're just the new ships. So, what do we have over here? Heavies are mothballed. 
Um, transports, we want to um, deselect you, deselect you, group you together, mothball you, and then if we take our heavies and our transports, we can group you because you're two mothballed fleets. And all the rest of them will be lights for going into trade. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves another 20 lights then. Okay. What have we got going on over here? Birthplace of a revolution. A revolution is taking place in the revolutionary commonwealth. Never noticed this icon down here before. I'm not so, not sure what we're supposed to do about it. It's quite interesting. Uh, anyway, um, Bavaria has pieced out with Brandenburg. The war reparations. Um, doesn't look like they've actually taken anything from them. No, they haven't taken anything from them. They haven't given anything to me, which is a little bit of a shame, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, let's start pulling these troops out then. Um, so, what have we got here? That's fine. Using Liberty Desire. Invest in a new technology, which will be admin tech. We are ahead of time, but we're almost capped on points. Um, so, we may have to go and build some admin buildings. If there's any left that we can build. I guess we could get some more town halls. A little bit pointless at this late stage of the game, but it'll st save us from going over our points. And we're probably just going to go to war uh, very shortly, and we'll take some provinces. Uh, what we could do as well is we could just go up to uh, plus three stability. Quite expensive, but it'll pay for itself at the end of the day. So what I'm just going to do now is uh, just form these troops back up over here, and then we will uh, get ready to declare on Milan. Uh, we'll lose the legitimacy for the mercantilism. Fine with that. You guys group up. We'll see if we can make any of my usual uh, stacks out of them. And then we'll just make up the rest of the numbers what we need to. So that works out quite nicely there. We need to just move two of these cannons back. There we go. There's another 20. You can move down to Savoy. Obviously, some of these guys all got a little bit split up, but that looks like the right total number. So if I merge them all together and split them, that should work. So there's 40. If we group you up and split you, then we've got the right sort of numbers. And in fact, at least one of you guys should probably be in Trent. Get in the mountains, get ready to jump on them. I don't think they've got much of an army. So we've got th those 20 can stay in burn. We've got 34 over here. Um, we've got another full stack we can take. So let's go ahead and grab the infantry, plus one. Grab all of the cavalry and move one back. And then grab six of the cannons. There we go. Select you guys. We'll move you over to Nice. I'm going to take this group over here. I'm going to deselect their leader. And I'm going to make sure that we've got all of our leaders over here in the area that we're just about to declare war on. Got another one over here in Great Britain who probably isn't needed right now. So let's no leader you. And we're pretty much going to be going almost straight into another war. And we do have um, we do have a CB over here, and we do have a mission over here. So they've got a few provinces. I doubt we're going to be able to fully grab them, but we'll be able to certainly do a lot of damage to them. Uh, we can invest in our final uh, military idea here, which we're going to do because we're still five years ahead of time. This will give us minus ten percent land attrition, and it will actually give us a land force limit of mod uh, land force limit modifier of plus fifty percent. So if you actually look, we can have three hundred and five regiments, right? Three hundred and five regiments. Let's go ahead and grab this. Um, and now, if we actually have a look, we can have four hundred and twenty three regiments. So it's probably time to go ahead and um, build some more of these little standard 20 stacks that I like so much. What are you guys short by? One man, two cannons, three horses. Um, we'll wait till that 20 stack's finished, I think. Otherwise, we're going to be getting everybody all mixed up. Uh, how are ships going? Because we do have some over here. 
So we've got 30 lights so far. You are going to be the Genoa trade fleet. Uh, but I'm going to keep you docked for now, just thinking about it, because I do intend to go to war with Milan. And if I'm sending you down to the Genoa trade fleet, you might end up taking some losses. So we'll wait on that for the time being. But when we come back next time, we are going to be going to war against Milan. Now, Bohemia and Holland, Freire and Wurzburg will come in. So thinking about it, at least some of these guys really need to be up here in preparation for dealing with the Dutch. So I'm going to start moving a lot of these guys up. Yeah, that should work. Got a small stack over here. We can try and jump on them a little bit from, from this side. So that might work. Obviously, we don't have an awful lot of diplo power and military power. Looks like a lot of units moving around up here. A lot of Brandenburgian units. Not too sure who it is exactly that they are... Um, fighting against. I guess we could go and have a look. That's a lot of pop-ups. Apologies for that. Wow. Mega numbers. Okay, Brandenburg. Who are you at war with? You're actually at war with Sweden. And the Commonwealth, once again, is falling more and more apart. Austria have so much stuff now. Austria got super powerful in this game, and I did not expect that to... Uh, did not expect that to be happening. But, oh, well, it's one of those things. There's not really an awful lot we can do about it. Like I said, we're just moving up here, so we've got some units that we can use to jump on Holland. Um, let's go and sort this out. I always guarantee whenever I want to, like, get something done, there'll be a million pop-ups of stuff happening. So let's go ahead and just fill in these little gaps. I just want to get this done before I end the video, otherwise I'll completely forget what I was doing. So you guys all want to be in sort of adjacent territory. I did say that I'd like to take some stuff from Holland, and that is still true. So we will see how that goes. Uh, and I've got units sort of moving around and, and forming up. I might even build another 20 stack and uh, send them north up to... Yep, yeah, people leaving the military coalition. So there's another 20 stack. We've got these guys here. What did I say they needed? Uh, it was uh, one man, three horses, two cannons. So that's um, one man, three horses, two cannons, and we'll merge all of those together and we'll have another unit to send up towards Holland. But that's probably all we've got time for for now. Once we, wow, lose one to stability or 20 army tradition. Well, we're definitely going to take the stability hit there. Uh, when we come back next time, we will get this war started and see how much we can take from Milan and possibly Holland. So until then, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you are still enjoying EU4. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then, goodbye for now.